most people went to, were, were conscripted at the age of 18. And what happened is, you, once you'd reached the age of 18, you, 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 you get a letter from the government, I don't know what part of the government it was, but uh, just to say that um, <laughs> you'd now got to go into one of the armed services. And uh, you, uh, in, our, in my case, uh, it, it, Stafford Street, it used to be called the registry office in Stafford Street, um, and that we had to go there. And you were interviewed, and they asked you which service would you like to uh, to go in for, Army, Navy or Air Force. And um, I suggested, well, I, I selected to go into the Royal Air Force. And um, the next thing I knew, I had to papers to say that I'd, I'd got a report to uh, uh, Padgate on a given day, and my day it was the 8th of September, so it was a few months after my 18th birthday, which was in the May. And uh, I, I, you went to, I went, you, went, you, you have a travel pass. I went to the station, went, went to Padgate and reported at Padgate. And then at Padgate, it's where, it's where they issue you with your uniform and t tell you about it. You have your inoculations. And it takes about, a, it was about a week. And then after, during that time, they, you, you're notified of where you're going to go for your, um, what they call your square bashing, for your basic training. And in my case, I was notified that I'd got to go to Winsworth, Gloucester. Uh, and uh, I should say it was about a week. Uh, we, we, we're all not taken down by vehicle from Padgate to the station, and then we're all put on a train. And um, we um, end up at uh, Gloucester. On the very morning that we were about to um, move from Padgate to Innsworth, Gloucester, a parcel came <laughs> and it contained some cakes. And uh, so what I did, I opened the kit bag and I put the cakes, it was a box of cakes, on the top of my kit bag and pull the string together and put it up and put it on. When we got onto the um, train, the, the rack, by the way, the, the, the trains then was the old corridor train, if yeah. you know, it, where you've got a corridor running down and carriages off it. And there was uh, six of us in this compartment and I got me a kit bag, we halfway there and one of the chaps said to me, hey, what about them cakes? So I said, all right, so I'm just getting the, the kit bag off the rack as the train went round the corner. Well, the kit bag, and bearing in mind I'd put me, uh, you, you have your me, me, me boots and all the heavy stuff at the bottom of my kit bag, shot across the what's name, hit the window of the, hit into the corridor and cracked the glass. Anyway, when we got to Gloucester, we had to stay behind because we'd got to make a report of what had happened to this. Yes, yeah, so there was the six of us in the, carriage and, and, um, and a sergeant stayed back so we had to make a statement, I had to go into the guard room and make a statement. The first thing that I, I can remember when I go in there, everybody was running around like flies they were, and they got, the sergeant had got his stick under his arm and he was bellowing at them and waving his stick and I thought, Christ, I, Christ, I said, what have I come to? And then the next morning, um, with our first parade, well, it was billet inspection, I can always remember. Uh, I'm standing there and the sergeant comes in and he looks down and looks at all and he, I don't know why he picked me up, but I knew afterwards why he picked me up, but at the time I didn't know. And he said, Airman, come here. So I got out of my bed space and I walked up there and stood to attention by him and he said, go back. So I got back to my bed space and he said, uh, Come here. So I goes back up towards him and I gets there and he says, Go back. He's making an example of me, I think. Yeah. You know, what he, anyway, I go back to my bed space and he says, Ehrman, when I say Ehrman, I want you to come at the double. So I walk out of my bed space, I take two steps and this floor's slippy and I went, oh. bang. On me back. Of course, there was uproar in the building. Everyone was laughing and all that. I gets up. 
Now, bearing in mind, I'm only 18, this is my first time away from home, and I felt like crying. Oh. Because of what had happened. Yeah. But I thought, I can't cry. I can't cry. I've got to be brave, you know, I can't cry. And I, I get myself up, by this time, he, he called me over, and he, all he did, I, I hadn't fastened my blooming thing on here, right, and he just, that's why he called me out. And then my second experience was, uh, within the, within the, those few days, is that um, there was a chap from Glasgow, he came off the Goebbels, a big chap, when I say big chap, he was six foot, I, I'm only five, five foot six, but he was a big chap. And he, he was mouthing it off right from day one. He, he, he wasn't going to, he, he'd come in, he wasn't going to do this, he wasn't going to do that, he wasn't going to do that. And um, uh, bearing in mind that if, if, if you've, got, it's a, you've got to conform, or else, else you all lose your privileges. Yeah. And I can always remember, I'd been to, over to the, to, uh, to the wash house, which was a, a separate unit, and I was coming back. And there was two chaps. I know one was from Liverpool and one was from Manchester. They were biggish chaps. And they got this chap from Glasgow right up the corner and they were pummeling and they said to me, get lost. And I got lost. And what they were doing, they were, they were saying to him, look, you've got to conform, because if you don't conform, we're going to bloody beat you up. But square bashing was all right. I mean, you do the usual thing. You, we have to do the assault course. Rule on your bellies and nothing there, and you had uh, rifle training. You had to learn how to uh, strip down a Bren gun uh, and fire it. You had, went on the firing range. You, were, you had drill uh, and, and all, all the other things you, you, you hear about and read about. You had to bull your shoes up and have your, you had kit inspections. And if you kit, if you inspections wasn't up to standard, uh, you, you lost the privileges and whatever you know and. It, and got to make your bed up, and it was uh, it was quite an experience. I didn't know where I was going to be posted. And I mean, people posted abroad because they were they were being.